What's up, y'all? We're reporting live from my shower, and today is wash day, and I have already drenched my hair in water and got it ready for the shampoo. So today I'm trying Briogeo's Curl Charisma Shampoo. Um, it contains rice amino and avocado, and it's their hydrating shampoo. Some of the claims is there's no sulfates, no silicones, and no parabens. Um, so I'm looking at the website and it says that this shampoo is for those with wavy and curly hair texture types from 2A to 3C. Note kinky and curly hair types to visit our Coral Custard page for product recommendations. So basically it's saying that it's a moisturizing, sulfate-free shampoo that nourishes and defines curls, curly, coily, and wavy hair. Um, without stripping the curls of much needed natural oils, it is safe for color treated hair, keratin treated, chemically treated, and relaxed hair. Um, my hair felt dry after I used the shampoo. <laughs> That's all I got to say about it. My hair did, my scalp was pretty clean, but my hair did feel, um, pretty dry after I used the shampoo. So as you can see now, I am going in with their conditioner and I'm trying to finger detangle before I end up, um, bringing the comb in. So I was able to pretty much get my hair through, um, the curls. However, the the conditioner did not have enough slip for my preference, but because they are saying that these products are targeted to people with um, 2A to 3C, I do have 3C hair. Um, but I just, you know, I'm a person who prefers a really, um, what will you say? I like a slippery conditioner. Um, I did realize when I was using the conditioner that I guess you can see like kind of in between my fingers, it's foaming up. Um, when I put water on my hair with the conditioner, it did foam up even more, which made it a little bit more difficult for me to detangle. So this wasn't a conditioner that I would be revisiting when it comes to detangling my hair again, just because it just wasn't as slippery as I would like it to be. So this is my hair after I ended up using the conditioner. Um, and yeah, my scalp looks pretty good, but my hair did feel pretty dry. Um, but stay tuned for the next clip for my thoughts. All right, y'all, so I just got out the shower. I have been deep conditioning for a day. So this is the next day that you guys just saw. Um, like I mentioned, the line, or maybe I didn't mention, the line did not have a hair mask, or they didn't send over a hair mask, so I ended up using something completely different. But I'm about to do a wash and go because I did do a poll on Instagram, ask you guys, you know, what do you want me to do with these products? <laughs> I wanted to do a twist out, but that's not what you guys wanted to see. So today I'm going to be doing a wash and go. Okay, so as far as like stylers and creams and leave-ins, I did receive three products that I could use to style. So I got their rice amino avocado leave-in defining cream. I got their quinoa frizz control gel. And then I also received their um, coil custard. So instead of trying to use all three, I'm just going to go in with the coil custard and the gel. Um, just because I looked at the consistency of the gel and I feel like it would just need a little bit more support um, for my personal hair. So that is what I'm going to use. All right, so as usual, I'm just going to spray this section with some water. Okay, so first I'm gonna go in with the coil custard and then I'm gonna like detangle my hair as I use it. Let me come up a little bit. I really want y'all to see. I'm sorry my head is cut off a little bit, but I really want y'all to see how this is gonna make her curls look. So it took about this much and it's pretty like thick and creamy. As far as scent, I'm not blown away by the scent, but it smelled, it's a very neutral smell. Okay, this feels good as I'm gliding it onto the hair. And I'm going to cut this section in half just so that I can start defining these curls a little bit more. So I'm going to take a little brush. I ran, my sister took my damn dimmer brush. So I've been using this brush to um to get do my wash and goes. It's been working, so I'm not complaining. I went to the beauty supply store the other day to find a dimmer brush, but they didn't have one. So it's kind of like, I guess. Yeah, one job. Okay, so... I probably, yeah, I wouldn't probably use this by itself. It is very creamy, but I can see this being a good product um, alone for a twist out. So I'll show you guys how my curls are clumping with this product alone. And it's not like super jelly or tacky, like similar custards that I've used in the past or like custards that I've used in the past. Like I think Myel Organics, they have a custard. It's not that like, 
flaxseed or gel type of consistency, but I could see this being a good product to use for a um, twist out. So now I'm gonna go in with the Curl Charisma Frizz Control Gel. That's pretty loose. So that's why I wanted to mix products with that. Well, it's not that loose, but it's not like a super chunky gel, but it isn't moving and sliding down my hand. So that's pretty cool. Oh, maybe I've been fooled. <laughs> All right. The gel smells really good. It smells very herbal and smells like tea. I'm gonna add just a little bit more. Okay, so I don't really see too much of a difference in like the clumping of my hair. I don't, <laughs> I don't know if this is gonna, gonna hold my hair, but honestly, I'm going to see. So I'm just going to um, do the remainder of my sections and I'm going to diffuse my hair and I will show you guys how those results look when we get there. So I just got done doing all sections of my hair and this is how everything is clumping at the bottom. So I'm excited to see how this is going to dry only because it's not giving me a lot of frizz but my hair does not have like this super like hold onto it so like the gel is not super harsh. I feel like the I feel like the results are going to be fluffy and I do feel like my curls are going to be defined because like I don't know. If it was going to be frizzy, I feel like already some of the pieces like in the back, my hair would start lifting and it would start poofing at the root. And it's not doing that. So I'm just kind of like excited to see what this is going to look like. I think, you know, the curls at the bottom are coiling pretty good. So I don't know. I'm kind of excited. You know, the shampoo and the conditioner were not my favorite um, from the line. But the, this, the um, coiling custard and the, flat, the gel together, they do feel good. Um, as far as the gel, I do think I'm done. Um, it's not much left in this bottle which is a bit alarming and concerning just because these products are fairly expensive um but like i said i'm going to diffuse my hair and once everything is done i will come back and show you all how everything is looking all right so i'm back with a change of scenery and i've kind of put my hair on the part but i'm not necessarily done doing my hair i do want to give it some more volume and some more fluff but i did kind of want to show you guys before i decided to do that so this is the definition that i have received this is how, you know, the curls have clumped. Let me give you all a 362. Let me know how you feel about this. This is day two with this wash and go, I believe. I think. Yeah, because I did these, these curls yesterday. So I'm going to go in with some of my Luster's Pink. This is this oil blend that I like to use. It's their growth oil, but the hair does have like a cast, surprisingly. I did not think that the um, house, like lightweight that gel was i didn't think that it was going to have um any type of cast i didn't think my hair i'm gonna be real with you i did not expect my hair to come out like this i didn't think the, the the hole would be this firm like i was not expecting that just based off of like how everything felt like the textures i was not getting that so i think this is pretty dope that you know my hair was able to hold like this so i'm going to kind of do some fluffing fix my edges and then I'm going to tell you guys how I feel about everything. And I don't feel like it needs too much fluffing. I honestly feel like my hair does have really like decent volume without me having to pick it. So. Thank you. 
all right so for edge control i'm just taking some of the style factor and i'm gonna brush my edges girl I don't know about y'all, but I always have to do my edges when I do a wash and go. I just need my shits to be laid. Like, some people be like, that's so, like, unnatural. Like, why would you, like, do that? Like, embrace your edges. I want my hair to be sleek. It's not even me, like, it's not even no self-hate shit. I just want my edges to be sleek. That's, is, is that too much to ask for? I don't think so. I hope not. I really hope not. Now I'm here to give you all the final verdict about how I feel about this line of Briogeo. So as in regards to the shampoo and the conditioner, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not revisiting it. I don't know exactly how much this stuff retails for. They did give me these products, but I'm gonna be real, like for my hair, for my Afro kinky textured hair, my hair felt stripped um, after the shampoo and like the conditioner was not replenishing it. It didn't moisturize it. it didn't, you know, like sometimes you have those combos of products where it's like, all right, I mean, I guess, you know, the shampoo was a little drying, but the conditioner like brought my hair back to life because a lot of times clarifying shampoos, sometimes they will strip your hair. And I'm not, I'm not anti, I'm not anti stripping, you know, sometimes you do have too much gunk on your scalp and you need to strip it like it, it that's necessary. But if there's going to be a case where that's the scenario, my conditioner needs to replenish my hair point blank period that's just how i feel about the situation and i don't feel like that combination provided that type of um arrangement for me so after i rinsed out the conditioner my hair felt dry that was that so as far as this duo um for the actual wash and go i like the curl charisma i like the coil and custard i will be actually using this again for a twist out i can see that this working for a twist out as far as the gel my hair it looks good it's a wash and go i'm not so harsh i'm gonna be honest with y'all but it's it's a little dry and i know i'm very particular about the products that i use because i know a good product and i know how your my hair should feel on day one of my wash and go or day two technically of my wash and go and there's like a drying feel to it you know little bit and this might not be the case or scenario for everybody like i'm sure maybe even if this was mixed with a different like leave-in conditioner maybe I, if i didn't use the coil and custard if i use something else it might have been a different type of case or scenario but just based off of the two products that i use it's it's it, it's getting the job done but i can see that my hair when it's time for me to um wash my hair again it's going to be dry i just know it and you can tell when something is moisturizing and nourished and that's just not necessarily the case for the gel. Do I like the definition of the gel? Definitely. I definitely think that th this surprised me. And maybe even if they added some more um, oils to this gel, I feel like that could even probably help it. Like maybe add some more nourishing factors or some shades or some, I don't know, some butters, something to this flaxseed gel. I think that would help it because when you do use a gel, it is imperative that there are oils into the gel because gels can be drying to the hair. You don't never want your your hair to be dry. Like, I'm gonna get off my soapbox. <laughs> but basically, all in all, I will be reusing the coil and custard um, from the line. That's just that. Will I retry some Briogeo products? Most definitely. I'm not writing this brand off, but I definitely think that there needs to be. Um, we need to go back to the drawing board with some of the development of these products. Um, and especially if you are advertising to curly, kinky, textured hair. Um, when you're dealing with African American, African roots, black hair, we need moisture. We have to have our moisture. We have to have our slip. We have to have our nutrient, nutri. We have to have our nutritious ingredients that are going to ensure that our hair can withstand, you know, days of wear, not just one day looking bomb and then the next few days it's frizzy and it's dry. So I hope you guys don't think I'm trying to be harsh on the brand. I'm really not. I'm really in a place right now when it comes to like utilizing my. If I was a brand and somebody was saying this about my product, I would want to take action and make sure that I can advance my product opposed to like being like, why did you say that? Like, and granted, everything not gonna work for everybody. Like, don't just take my review of these products for, you know, for the truth. You know, this is my truth, but 
it might work for you and it might not so definitely go ahead and do some additional research but thank you all so much for watching this video i hope that you all enjoyed i hope to see you all in the next one be sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you later